was walking in the library one day and I heard that Dick Kooning and Feldman had just walked into the building and they came wandering in on the way to the office and sat down with us. Mm -hmm. nice. So they started talking and everyone started listening and asking some questions. And one of the students asked a question in the back. He said, in 1946, there was breakthrough for almost all the artists in your generation, mm -hmm. talking to de Kooning. What caused that? Why did that happen then? And the, the turning point, it was, you think like the abstract expressionist movement? Yes, that's what he's talking about. And I think it was August, wasn't it? And de Kooning says, yeah. And he says, first or second week in August. Mm. And, and so de Kooning said, yeah, yeah, Morty, I remember that weekend well. That, that week really well. All the painters were in the cafes or walking the streets. No one could paint anymore. Mm. And we didn't know what to do. Everyone was lost. Mm. Everyone was confused. We didn't know what a painting was. It was that one week of not knowing that made everything possible. So he turned it around. Instead of something affecting everyone in a positive way, it was some kind of a negative thing that had happened. Huh. And that it's the doubt, it's the not knowing what the right answer is that makes made it possible for something good to happen. De Kooning is saying not having any kind of authority figure, mm. losing someone you love, going through that kind of chaos, and not knowing what to do, that's what made it possible. Mm. Then with the past uh, two years, uh, especially going through the pandemic, yeah. You know, it was a big shift in the world where, you know, this pandemic, which, you know, started off as like a common cold, then got, you know, escalated to a very, you know, contagious disease that was causing unexpected loss amongst, you know, loved ones and friends. You know, I feel like everyone was kind of just wandering the streets, yeah. not knowing Interesting. Yeah. what to do for Oh wow, you know, how, and then at the same time with, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement happening, yeah. the murder of George Floyd and yeah. countless others, I think there was this real kind of pressure cooking, cooker effect happening yeah. within, you know, the United States that definitely resonated around the world. And I think that kind of unknowing of where the world is going kind of allowed artists to really find a more openness and think about the possibilities not only within their practice but within the world. I feel like the world kind of got restructured in a way. It resonates from 47 to 67 to 2022. It's um, still happening. And something has to happen within one's perspective or lives that caused a shift to happen yeah. like that. And I, I feel like artists are probably more comfortable with change, um, immediate change, because sometimes we take those risks within our own work to kind of shift our aesthetics from one way of painting or one way of thinking about the world to the next and kind of see if we can uh, formulate those ideas within our work. Mm -hmm. um, De Kooning believed in the work more than he believed in the ideas mm. or what it might be leading to. Yeah. And he was willing to just trust that it would lead in the right place, I think. 